we're going to look at polynomials here. Okay, so first we need to have some terminology down. So a monomial means one, right? Mono means one, right? And so like an example of a monomial would be x, right? x by itself there would be a monomial, right? One term, right? That's what it means, one term, right? So 5x also would be monomial. Uh, as opposed to x squared plus 5, what would we call a binomial, right? Two terms. Okay, pretty simple. Get rid of that. That was monomial means one term, binomial, two terms. Okay, then we have sum of coefficients. What the heck does that mean? Ran out of room, so abbreviated. Sum of coefficients, right? Um, so if you got just three x, sum of the coefficients would be three. You only got one term, so there's really nothing to add. But that's that. I mean, sum means add, so usually we just use that to make it simple at first, right? Um, so if you had u the variable u plus 3x plus 8y plus 4z. And I said, what is the sum of the coefficients? Okay, so it's just the number in front of each of those variables and add them up. That's all that means. Right, so with this u here, right, if it doesn't put it there, that means one, right? One and one u are the same. Okay, we have a 1, a 3, 8, and a 4. 1 plus 3 plus 8 plus 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 8, 12. 12 plus 4, 16. Right? So the sum of the coefficients for that problem is 16. Okay, now we get to stuff where we have to simplify. So this is a little bit harder. Um, all right, so we got 6x to the third plus x squared minus 5 plus x squared again plus 7. Okay, so what we need to do is combine like terms. Right, and we're trying to simplify this. Right, so do we have any exponents that have three except for six x to the third? As we look through here, no. So six x to the third by itself plus. Right, we'll cross that out always. Don't forget. So we have x squared, and we have x squared again. So we have two x squared. So we add those together. Get rid of them, and then we have. All that's left is minus 5 plus 7. That's 2. And that's our answer. And so usually it'll be written out without the parentheses around it. Like that. 6x third plus 2x squared plus 2. Okay. All right, we're gonna do another one. Okay, this one is long. Four x squared y plus six x squared y plus two x squared. We're gonna do it in two lines here. Plus two y squared. Minus 10 plus x squared, okay? Equals, so, equals what? Okay, so we do the same thing. We're trying to combine like terms, right? So we start off with 4x squared y, right? And the very next one is plus 6x squared y. So we can combine these because we have x squared y in both of them. We don't have anything else that has the x squared y, so 4x squared y 
plus 6x squared y, we're just adding 4 and 6. So we got 10x squared y. Get rid of both of these. Okay, and what else do we have? So we have 2x squared. Do we have any more x squares? We've got one right here. So that means we got 3x squared. Okay, can we get rid of both of those? We have two different variables here. We have a 2y squared minus 10. We're just going to carry that down. And there we go. Okay, so it looked big and complicated. It wasn't actually all that hard. Okay. Um, one more race, and then we got to know how to multiply these things too. When we're multiplying, we got to remember that we'll add the exponents. So we'll get to that in one second. 4ab times 2a squared b squared. How do we do this? Okay, and so what I meant when you say we add the exponents is remembering that when we see 4ab, it essentially means 4a to the first, b to the first, okay? And then we're gonna add these together. So four times two is eight. All right, and then we have an a to the one plus two. Of course, it's three, right? We just added the one, which is the exponent for the a here, and the two, which is the exponent for the a over here, and b also to the one plus two. Okay, and what this equals is 8a to the third, to the third, b to the third. 